Um, I appreciated that both of them tried different stuff, like meaningfully different stuff that I haven't seen in the others. And granted, I am not a FNAFographer, so maybe it really is not recent and new, but to me it is. So, to me it's real. We're doing we're doing it like it's wrestling. Hold on. Can you boing his nose? I can try. Give me a sec. Uh-oh. My controller does not appear to be working. Hold up. Damn, this is as technical difficulties the stream, huh? Maybe you plugged it in after you launched it. I don't know, maybe. It's a possibility. It doesn't seem like my buttons... What is... This doesn't make sense, these... Okay, hold on. Hmm... Oh, I know exactly what the problem is. Okay, hold on. Super Marb Fetish Artist has actual skills. I have my little rewazed rebinder thing for Frontier that I, I don't even play Frontier right now, but I forget that when I reboot my computer once every month, that's a that's a thing. That's crazy okay. to me. I turn my computer off every day. <laughs> I just gotta rebind the controller from scratch. I'm sorry, guys. Authentic? No, it was working before, but just, like, it's because I restarted the fucking computer. I'm pretty sure, at least. Maybe I maybe I should just restart this entire fucking thing. Excuse me, that was gross. Yeah, can you be nice? T does not know how to be nice. There. Okay, hold on. It's B3313 time. Yeah, I, I want to play this. I know people aren't really that into it, but I want to, uh... Like, I kind of want to play it, and the stream was short, so I'll just play it for a bit. Like, I wanted to see the end, but I also feel bad if I play it off-stream. Uh... Okay. Back to the device's native behavior. Okay. Whoop. Hold on. It's really warm in here. It is. It's summer again, dude. It's... Yeah, it was actually kind of like so fucking hot. Today. It's hot and humid and... Stand. Awful. It was humid, but it was it, it was hot. It was in the 80s today. I think it hit 80 today. Okay, so my controller is still a little fucked, I think. No, we're good. I yeah, we're good. We're good. Maybe. Hold What's on. happening in the background? I don't know. This fucking this rewash shit is like corrupting my PC. Um. What it is? What? Sean's world. I hope not. That shit was so funny. Did it replace the entirety of, like, no, our no, no. My, my, my Chatterino tab's not closed. Sorry, I'm just... I'm listening to her talk. I'm trying to read you guys. I'm trying to set this up. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Nothing. No, no, no. I want to hear what she said. I'm not yeah, trying to be rude. Remember. What did she say? I don't know. Something about Sean World. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um... God. I have to remember how to play this. It's been, like, a week... It's been like a month since shipwrecked, which is fucked up to me. Replace the icon of RP. Yes, yes, it did, it did. I downloaded something else and Sean's face was there staring at me, yes. knowing exactly what he has done. Let me... Is the audio at an okay level? I hope Sean's out there. Me too. I hope he's got hella bitches. Like, respectful bitches, you know? Like, not, not bitches who are respectful, but bitch in a respectful sense. So, like, I'm not trying to be misogynist. You know? Well, we want them to be respectful to him as well. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Still think about Snake Prime Minister? I remember the fucking, the other one. Not Sean World, but X Ross yeah, yeah, Generations. Yes, yes, with, like... That was my favorite. That was ridiculous. That was one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen a human being create. If I finished this one, I don't remember. I know I was doing this tower, but. Alrighty. Oh. Something happened with Shipwreck first VOD? I don't think so. I didn't do anything to it. Found video too. Part of me wants to go back and find it on my own, but I don't know where the fuck it would be. 
Jimmy in the old sating mask. Where, where was video to? I guess at this point you can tell me. I'm probably not the one to find it myself. I wonder what happened to Nicholas. Ah. Uh, he probably just, like, grew out of making, like, weird little, like, PewDiePie Pokemon games, right? Like, this seems like... You know, I know there's a lot of people who are like, Oh, it's not a phase, but you do do, uh... Phase is Walter's area past the helping nub computer? God damn it. The Mount Pinatubo thing with the three puzzle areas? Wait. That, I thought that, that was Gary's section. So are we talking, when you say Walter's section, are we talking about the place where he's like sitting there, like in the shadow, staring at you, like in an inaccessible position? Like, that's what I have in my head is Walter's area. That section? Maybe Fafman meant like Pinatubo is in that that split that that intersection in general. Not that it was in the part specifically that had uh, Pinatubo. I looked there, but I couldn't find it. Oh well, I guess I'm a fool. Affirmations. I looked there a few times. I guess I'm blind. It is what it is. It was fucked. Okay, I don't want the specifics. Now I kind of want to go back now that I know of it. Okay. Jisho found it out? Seth. Seth. Please. It's gonna be alright. You can drop the gun. We're all on your side. We all support you. We all love you. Well, I don't know if they love you, but they at least like you, probably. Find it on stream, dog? No, no, no. I just... Like, logically, it had to be there, but I'm just thinking, like, damn, I tried, like, looking up and down. I don't think... I mean, clearly I wasn't thorough enough if I didn't find it, but... I didn't think I was... Oh, hold on. I think I was, like... What is the opposite of unthorough? Or, the opposite of thorough. Is it unthorough? I can't even talk. I'm so sorry. I'm on drugs. Ketamine's really, really hitting me today. I guess we're going to the fun house, everybody. Hasty? That makes sense. Not to judge you as a dog owner, but has Sif used her gun to protect lately? I don't think so. We've been here. That game still lives rent-free. It's gonna be a few more months before I get shipwrecked out of my head. What a fucking game. It's still absolutely astonishingly unbelievable that like a, like an 18-year-old made it. I mean, it's not to say that 18-year-olds can't make good things, of course. But just like the amount of stuff is still just mind-boggling to me. Still don't believe it. I'm gonna say, like, based off of seeing them speak on Twitter, I believe it. They have, like, a sort of... Youthful passion. You know? A youthful vigor. You say sheesh? I don't know, just the way they, like, conduct themselves. And I really do not mean this as an insult. They seem like... Distinctly Gen Z, Gen A to me, like just younger. Like, there's just a certain way of communicating that I don't think would, like, a 30 year old would ever adopt. I don't know how to describe it. It probably sounds super weird that I'm saying it like that. Like, I guess just look at your Twitter and psychoanalyze. I know you're 18, sort of shit, but just don't see that many people my age speaking that way, is all it really is. I'm gonna have to reconnect the neurons because I am. Can you tell that I'm lost? The way they talk is... Yeah, and I I think there's truth to that, but I also don't want to be like, I, you know, your, your vernacular gave you away as being a Gen Z. Pathetic. <laughs> like, because that sounds... You don't want to, like, dog on the way people express themselves either, but I do think there is, like, something to be said about, uh differences there it's not a bad thing it's just a thing 
Good night, Ghosterson. No cap, no cap, fur, fur. What are we doing? Did you hear about Wendy Williams ha has dementia? No. You sound really immature for your age. I mean, I do. Like, I know, I don't think that's what you were getting at, but, like, I think I absolutely sound, like, remarkably immature for my age, considering the excessive amounts of profanity that I use on a regular basis, like, casual. Like, I, I, we were talking to Autumn's mom, and I forget what I said. Like, we were in the car, and they, she called, and I said, uh... I don't know, something about circumcision, and I just forgot where I was and who I was talking to. And it was like, oh, right, right, sorry. I know that... Fuck. She thought it was funny. But... I'm like, right, yeah, yeah, I need to turn that off. Yeah. Now, I wish to mention anyone, but from what I've heard, Wendy Williams is a pretty awful person. I haven't heard nice things about her, either. Profanity standard for people under 50? You think so? I, th I think you're probably right. But there are some people who are, like, really on that religious shit who are very, very, very averse to it. Although they're not the majority by any means. Gotta keep it. Holy G. Remember I felt bad because I went to, uh, when I was going to college, there was a story. Like, I'm gonna tell you a story that I don't talk about a lot. We're gonna take a moment here. This is an infrequent one. This is an uncommon Tolomeo story. It was like the first day of the semester. And I went over and I was waiting for my class. Sitting all alone. And, uh... I'm trying... I realize that I put, put myself in a corner here. Autumn, please do not get mad. She was a very conventionally attractive girl. Who sat next to me and started talking to me. And I wanted nothing to do with it. I wanted to, like, I was just ready to get to class. And she's talking about being a Hooters waitress. And I was just like, okay. Um, I don't know why she was talking to me. I think it was more just like, a, I'm new here. I don't know anybody sort of thing. I don't think it was like, oh, you know, bad boy Tolomeo sitting there sort of shit. But she's just, and I, I didn't have to go, but I made up a lie. I was like, oh, you know, I need to start getting ready. My, I got to, you know, get to my class. You know, get everything sorted out. So I got up and I fucking left. And I got approached, like, I swear to God, by these two people who were my neighbors at once upon a time, like, ten years ago, who were super, super religious. And they recognized me and they started talking to me. So I told her that I had to leave. And then I immediately start talking to these people, like, five feet away from her. Which I imagine made her feel terrible. But I also don't want to completely blow off the people who just approached me. So I'm like, God damn it, dude. Just leave me alone. Like, I want to leave. Like, <laughs> I just... And... For whatever reason, these two seemed to take, like, a particular liking to me. It was a brother and a sister. I guess they figured that, you know, I was part of the good religious sort. And, like, fast forward a few months, I had made buddies with a, a person in chemistry class who I got along with really well. Like, I missed that motherfucker. He was funny as hell. Liked hanging around with him a lot. Got in trouble being too loud during chemistry class. And they walked up behind me while I was swearing. I, I made sure not to swear around those two because I knew how they were. I knew their parents were super religious helicopter freaks. And they never talked to me again after that conversation. They'd see me and they would not approach me. But they, they like, walked up to me having a conversation where I was using profanity and I was done. Like, that was it. It was rip. <laughs> I never spoke to me again. So, there are absolutely people here who get really, really, really fucking upset over the profanity thing. Obviously not usually to that extent, but, like, good God, man. I get it. You think I'm, like, the devil. I never saw her again either, Cool109Love. She never sat next to me again. I, I legitimately didn't care. Like, I know for you, you were... <sighs> I'm gonna sound like an asshole no matter what. I shouldn't have said this story, but, like, I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, I don't care. I'm not here for this. Uh... I, don't, I didn't really give a shit about, like, getting into a relationship or, like, having casual sex or any of that bullshit. Oh, this is not where I need to be. I've been here. Like, I just did not want anything to do with it. I want to get home. 
Want to play League of Legends? I wasn't doing important things, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm single-mindedly focused on my career and my future, because I wasn't that either. I just wanted to get home and play video games. I thank you, Wolfric, for the 39-month resub. I appreciate it. I remember that was around the time where I was really excited because they were releasing, I, I believe, if I'm not entirely mistaken, they were doing a dual release of Malachi and Jarvan the Fourth, and I was so stoked. Um, and I played mid Jarvan and I had a shit on people. Yeah. Paying all that money to not pay attention? Well, no, that wasn't really it either. Like, I didn't really care that much about class. I, I'm just weird, you know? And I know, like, I'm so relatable, so weird, but just didn't really... Wasn't feeling it. Did you play with friends? Yes. I think if I'm being completely honest, the moment, like, the Hooters thing entered the equation, and I know how this sounds, let me explain. Like, I had never been with a girl up until that point. I've had opportunities to talk, like, girls with, like, a girl wanted to go out with me. Yeah, I have suspicions of multiple, but not 100% sure. But I thought, okay, like, this, she seems like she has a lot more experience than I do. Even if there's something here, which I don't think there is. I don't think that this is a good idea. Like, at all. Like, I think pursuing this would be really dumb. Because, you know... Hooters food sucks. I've never eaten at Hooters in my life. Hello, Vic, the Foxy Gamer. And it's not... I want to make it clear it's not a body count thing. I don't care about that. I just, you know, I, I'd probably be like a jealous little fucker if she was like a Hooters waitress. And I just don't think that would be productive for either party, right? Like, it just... It would be shitty for both ends of the, uh... If, in, like I said, I don't think there was anything even there to begin with. So it's an ass nine hypothetical. The last thing I did the last time I played this game is go into that door and get Mario Spooky Jump Scared. You think you think I watch streams with literally anyone? I generally like to know the person pretty well before I even consider them to watch streams with. Huh? Sure, no doubt, just got in here. Well, I'm not dropping that on anyone in particular. We're, we're trying to explain something. Okay. I don't think I've been here. Okay. This is... This reminds me of King Cobra's mead he made. The last video I watched, I forced Autumn to watch it with me. And it was honestly, like, really gross congealed shit. Was the consistency of the mead. It was nauseating, legitimately. One of the nastiest things I think I've ever watched on YouTube. It was very funny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's stinky. Alright, we gotta be careful here because, you know, it's not even remotely a surprise, but the water is foul. Ch yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, Nurgle. The fucking cherries and chocolate. Oh, God. It's really legitimately gross. Maybe we can watch it on stream sometime. I kind of want to do another stream where we just watch videos again. Did he drink it? It's still in the process of meeting, like fermenting, whatever you call it. I'm not really an expert on the subject, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that. video stream yeah we could just like sit there and react to content and go oh my god i can't believe he did that oh dude that's so gross yucky Ugh. okay where are these stars at playa I'm trolling! God damn it! Oh no. Okay, okay. We gotta use a, a, a Mario technique here. I'll, I'm not very good at doing it. I think we're just fucked. Oh, I tried to do the kick. God damn it. This place is fucked up, dude. I should have listened to Walter. I need to stay out of the goddamn water. At least it doesn't send me back to the beginning. Let any dog go sleep in the bed with you. Uh, thank you, Thurass, for the 62 months. Before I forget, I appreciate it. 
Um, kind of. We, you know, I there's two people in the bed, and they all sleep in the bed when Autumn's there, and I'm not. But I kick them out because they make it impossible. Like, it's just too much biological mass on the bed at once. It's super uncomfy, it gets super hot. I am... One of the biggest flaws I have as a partner is that it is... I have... I can't snuggle for extended lengths of time. I get way too fucking hot. It gets mad uncomfortable. Like, I don't do good with close proximity and, like, body heat. I get overheated really easy. I was hoping a big part of that was because I was fat. And I'm still a little, I'm still a little chunky, but I'm not really fat anymore. And I still have the same problem that, that, uh-oh. All right, well, maybe next time. I just run hot, you know? Just built different, built worse. All right, well, that's, that's a foregone conclusion. I absolutely cannot make mistakes on the platforming on that part. Oh. What's up, Vincent? So, the an to answer your question, sorry. I would like to, but it only happens when it's really cold and Sif feels like she can go on the bed. Or when I'm sleeping, when Autumn is at work, and, and I let Banjo snuggle up to me. Uh, the Chihuahua little man is always there regardless. So... Oh my god. The answer is sometimes. Yes. He didn't make the fucked up no- No! You've gotta be fucking kidding me! Who the fuck- Why? Who hurt you? Oh my god. Wow. Lungs are slightly too small, so not only does cuddling get too warm, but it gets super cramped and breathing gets weird. That was pretty funny, though. Yeah. I wish I was better at the cuddling thing. I try to, to to let Banjo snuggle, and I do, but he does this thing where he's a baby. He's like the sweetest little dude ever, but he likes to get up and kind of like collapse on you with, with affection. I don't know how to describe it very well. Um, but he does this like a, approximately a hundred times a night. And he's he's not a huge dog, but he's 35 pounds... And he just fucking, like, it wakes me up. So I try to swaddle him in a blanket so he'll be like a little dog burrito and leave me alone. Works some of the time. Not always. Not a bulletproof solution. Okay. I'm trying to get, like, a really good map of the situation. I want to beat this. I don't want to just drop every fucking game ever and never beat anything. Hello, Rafa. My arm is on the bed. Mocha will come over and lie at the top of my hand. Like, girl, I can't pet you like this. You know what algorithm slop? I'm done with people who watch the latest superhero shit and they go, dude, this movie's so shit. I kind of agree. I think that not liking things is not an adequate substitution for a personality. Per Personally, I really don't like the superhero stuff, but plenty of people do. And yeah, it's not my thing, but I don't really like it when my interests get shit on. So, it depends. Like, if I think it's fair game if someone, like, asks you what you think about it and you say, Oh, I don't really like the superhero stuff. But... I think that... It's frustrating because I think that Red Letter Media is one of my favorite YouTube channels. I think every single person on that show is, like, really funny. Shit's hilarious. I love... I don't really like movies, but I love watching them. But I feel like they've spawned, like, a million more mean-spirited versions of themselves. Where it really seems like... I don't know. So you gotta, like... You can criticize and make fun of things, but you can't... So, you know, when I play indie video games, there's a lot of games I don't really like that much. But I try pretty hard not to be like, This is dog shit. Like, who made this? Fuck you. What the fuck? What were you thinking? Sort of shit. Oh, this is not where I want to be. 
You don't always succeed. Sometimes you really do just play a stinker, but... I, yeah, I mean, getting pissed is saying this is the worst game I've ever played is, is a good way to get someone to click on a video, so... I understand that. It just sucks that it has to be that way. I'm about to veg out to this shit. Draw a line between a movie and the Wheel of Misfortune junk. That shit is my favorite, dude. Like, the fucking Junka and the Black Spine bullshit. Oh my god. I will always remember the Suburban Sasquatch one, where it's like... <laughs> or like, orgasmic pregnancy or whatever the fuck. That shit is hysterical. Um, I, that's most of what I watch. Like, I like their other more serious stuff, but I'm not always in, like, like the mood for, like, a serious breakdown of a movie and criticisms. I kind of like just the, the suburban Sasquatch, holy shit, what are we watching? I watched one recently with Autumn where, where Rich was saying, God, what was it? I hope this is, like, a child abduction video. No, that's not what he said. I hope this is a video about child suicide. I guess he said it at one point in the video, and they fucking... They, they just made it to where he... God, you, you had to be there, bro. Trust me. Those who know will know. It doesn't sound that funny when I'm saying it, but it was the funniest thing ever. We title it the worst game on Steam, but then be relatively positive about the game during the video. See, it's fucked, too, because sometimes I worry I'm too nice with that, where it's like... This is clearly, like... I don't know. Like, when I'm trying to do a Vetus game, I don't really think that he's gonna turn it around and this is... Like, I don't think Samantha's gonna be the second coming of Vetus Christ. I would like to believe that, but a lot of it is just jokes. But it's the kind of joke that doesn't really... I, I don't know. Maybe I should stop playing Vetus games. Like, what if he watch? What if he has no idea about this stream and he ends up finding it and thinking wow this guy's played all of my games and then it's just like shooting him with a nail gun over and over again right <laughs> that would kind of be shitty but when i think he i think his samantha game was all right i really didn't mind that one that much you should talk i don't really like talking to people very much you're a critic? Okay, okay. That's good. I can let him know. No, I don't really want to, like, start shit with anyone. It's all in good fun. I, I hope he does make really good stuff. I am legitimately rooting for his success. You talk about him so much. I don't think that's true. But I think it's pertinent to this topic because we we're talking about people who do reviews of substandard, like, movies, games... And the person that comes to mind for a lot of us in regards to this channel is Vetus, right? So I think maybe maybe I do talk about him too much, but I think it's warranted in this situation. Like, it's relevant to a point I'm trying to make, I guess, is what I'm saying. Billie Eilish? I don't think I've ever listened to one of her songs in its entirety to this day. I probably have because I listen to the radio, but, like, I'm not aware. Like, legitimately, God's truth, if I if I had a gun to my head and they're like, sing the first line of a Billie Eilish song, I would, I would be dead. It would be done. Tolomeo is kill. Oh, God. Have mercy on my soul. Okay, so that was for the red coin. That was a fucked up red coin. Maybe I should do those instead. Shit, I didn't look. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. The tits are still, like... They're threatening orbit... But they're not, they're not out of the fucking, they're not out of the gravitational pull yet. 
never intentionally listened to one of her songs, and if I've heard... Yeah, yeah. I... And it's not because I'm, like, one of those people that's like, I don't listen to pop popular music, I'm not stupid. Uh, I don't like this new stuff everybody else likes. I think that mentality is honestly kind of annoying. But I just, I, I don't recall. I just don't keep up with it. I don't get in, like, I don't drive to work or anything now. So it's like my radio time is pretty minuscule compared to the past. Like, I have heard 100 Gex. I still don't think I've heard Death Grips. Um, I know those aren't necessarily, like, like super popular music, but... It seems like more people know about them than not. Pop music is too slow, in my opinion. Oh, oh, that's it. I got greedy. I this one's fucked. I'm not I'm not good enough at this platforming shit. I didn't I went I overshot and I didn't have enough time to do like a like a U-turn and jump and cancel the momentum. I wish less people knew about 100 Gex, especially me. I think the only song I've listened to is that stupid horse one. Hobo yelling music definitely an acquired taste. Well, I'm not exactly like a patrician of the fine arts with music. I not ironically listen to that fucking uh, shipwrecked OST AM PM where it's like dun 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 like it, it really gets you in the zone playing RuneScape. It's like a video game hyper focus music. When is the sissy hypnosis part of the stream? Jenna, are you here? Someone wants you. One of our, one of our, uh, one of our mods is really big into it. I don't, I don't participate in it much myself, but A specific track reminds me of that one battle track from Fallout: The Frontier. Yeah, that one was good. I know Noodle likes that one as well. Hand of Doom soundtrack was supposed to come out sometime last year. I wish that had happened. What went wrong with it, if you don't mind talking about it? Is there Macho Hypnosis? I think that's Gachi Mucha. <laughs> I think the Gachi is the closest thing I've ever seen to Macho Hypnosis. It's also Gay Hypnosis, but... False Advertisement? Um, I, I mean, I guess so. It probably seems like it right now, but it, it really isn't. AK work harder from Lisa. Fucking right. How have I never realized Gachi is hip now? Oh, I see Torkoal. Yeah, that's one of those things when you just kind of have, like... I mean... It's every organization to some extent, I guess. Macho Hypnosis or those Wake Up at 4 a.m. Grind and whatever else videos. So... I see what you mean... I think the, the, like, grind yourself to death, suppress your emotions videos are fucked up too. But I wanna, like, you can be macho and also, like, a very emotional and sweet and soulful man. Um. It's not mutually exclusive, right? Like, we shouldn't, con like, I don't think that that is what you're doing with, with that comment. But you can be... You can be, uh, macho and still be, like, a very supportive father or husband, whatever the fuck, friend. Actually, true macho hypno are those videos that show, that are titled How to Become the Main Character and Talk About Being Sigma. The main character. If you had to pick one person in this chat as a main character, who do you think it would be? Oh, well, I'm, I'm literally trolling. This level has my fucking number, dude. I've died here like a billion fucking times. 
Oh, we weren't doing main characters anymore. That's why I asked the chat. I'm not, I'm not relegating that position onto somebody. I'm just curious what they gotta say. Cry on his all. You think that's a thing? You think, uh... Maybe Misa is, like, cry? And it's just been, like, a, like, the long game? The reason she doesn't want VODs is that she doesn't- she's afraid someone's gonna analyze, like, the voice and realize that if you apply a filter backwards, that it's actually simply just cryotic. I see. It kind of adds up. I'm not sure I believe it, but it's... It's making sense to me right now. Huh. Nisa exposed, ban her? That's my head cannon now. Alright, alright. Maybe doing the stupid fucking catapult jumps, the long jumps, is not the strat. Maybe we need to we need to do the hoop shabber sots more often. Need to be all about that helicopter. I forget where the last star was. I think I went through and got all four of them and then came back down to Earth at some point and realized it was in a silly place. Oh, no, no, no. It's with that bomb fucker. I know where it is. This is maybe not the best thing in the world to play while you're kind of, like, out of it. Come on. Can't believe Cry fled to California, got married to a man, and rebranded as Misa. If only there was a VOD. Cooler Matt is the main character. Is regular Matt cooler Matt? I would have to assume so. I knew who he was prior to the name change, and I don't see the other name around. Uh. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Don't want to get thrown off. Don't want to. Don't want to get the bad hug. Totally different. Made him lose his coolness. I think he's still cool. De Jenna. Jenna, why you gotta be like that? What the fuck is wrong with you? What did I do? I thank you for the raid demolition, Daisy. What's up, dog? How are you? We gotta get the red coins now, alright? We're gonna... We're gonna... I admittedly have not had the most sterling performance here on this particular level, but I, I'm confident that I... I'm going in with a rejuvenated mindset. I'm feeling like a million... a million bucks. I feel like I'm the king of the world. That the world is at my dick tip. Greetings, cloppers. I don't think that's fair. I think Daisy's been clean from the pony shit forever now. We shouldn't hold people's past against them forever. Unless it's something truly terrible. Saw you were playing FNAF. I did two bingo request games today, AF. Thank you for the 71 months, by the way. One was a legitimate attempt that was pretty good, but not up my alley. The other was a VTuber FNAF clone. Which... Admittedly, also, it was it was pretty well made. I liked some of the ideas they had, but it's just not really my it's not really my scene. <laughs> you know, it's just I'm sorry, but uh, I'm kind of lukewarm on both FNAF and VTubers, so it's. Jesus. Okay. 
<laughs> Jeez. No, no, okay, okay. Drop drop the gun, Tolomeo. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. It's okay. We're chilling. Like this is the the epitome of chilling right now. The grimoire of chilling. Grimoire? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bed. Good night, ghost. Hand it on the chillin' Bible. Alright, there's literally no way this can be fucked up now. Like, it, I would have to have, like, a fucking literal brain aneurysm. I would have to be, like, a knight of the told republic. Alright, let's think, let's think about the movement here. Nailed it. I was really good. Please. Okay. Maybe that's for the best. I'm worried that if I get that red coin, I'm gonna fall into the shit. Now I know which way to fall. So, it was... I know how that looked. That looked a lot like I was throwing for content, and I would just like to state that I would never do that. Helicopter? I tried. I fucked it up. I'm not very good at this whole bing bing wahoo thing. I'm nervous. My hands are sweaty. I don't want to do this again. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting into Last Epoch again, but... Doubt I could do much better. I think you could, but... I don't know. I, this is one of those games where it's like... Do you have a game that you really, really, really fucking like, but you were just, like, dog shit at it? <laughs> like, not just, like, beginner bad, but, like, you played a lot and you're just cheeks. For me, that's Mario and Monster Hunter. Okay. Thank the lord. Oh. I think Frontier is probably the one I'm best at. I don't feel like I'm terrible at Frontier, but some of the others I'm like, good god. I mean, an Acolyte that I'm trying to make into a Warlock? Hmm. Did it seem like there were other stars there to you guys? I didn't see anything other than, like, the little collectathons. Like, it didn't seem like there was a typical get-to-the-top and you get a star sort of thing. Maybe there was, but... Gotta be two more. Not necessarily. It's very difficult to ascertain how many stars. Because the way this mod is structured... Let's say you have Bob on Battlefield, right? Well, what would happen if there's actually three separate portals to three cut-off, isolated instances in the Bob Bomb Battlefield instance? That are... Th like, it's three levels... But they're not connected. But they are all technically, as far as the game data is concerned, in bob -omb fucking mountain So you could have... Two stars, two stars, and four stars. It's a mess. Because of the way this mod structure. It's very difficult to tell sometimes. This looks like a good place to go. I'm confident that nothing bad will happen if I go into this door. Oh. As far as I can tell, this is new. You don't have balls, Jenner. Go down or go forward? What the fuck? Alright, this is a little bit of a weird one. Prepare yourself, for I'll have your head spinning in circles. Okay. What, is it like a giant fucking shy guy? Is that what, what's going on here? Hey, asshole. Suck a dick. Shy Guy's the coolest Mario mob. I... 
I don't think I agree with that, but I, I don't really have, like, a list of coolest Mario mobs in my head. The Shy Guys are cool, for sure. I, okay. Oh my god. This is a lot harder than it looks, Playa. <laughs> I swear, dude. Um, it depends. Like, I'm guessing we're talking about, like, common Mario enemies and not just like, oh, fucking this guy from Super Mario RPG. Like, something that's a mainstay. I honestly really like Dry Bones. I think Dry Bones is cash. No, no. Can I not do shit to him? That felt like it was the top of the head to me. Oh, okay. I have to like dive through them? That's weird. I can't tell if this is, okay, he's breathing fire so that, that kind of feels like I'm making progress. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think uh, jumping on his head will ever accomplish anything productive. Gotta get... I, I have to hit him with the diving swan maneuver, basically. Hello, Phil T. Weeb. It's multiple phases. It really is Dark Souls Mario, huh? Oh, I guess I could just jump at him, too. Didn't even give you a really... No, I like that. I, I don't like being patronized by tutorials. I like figuring everything out. Even if it makes me look like an asshole loser that takes forever to get something done, it's like a, a minimum basic thing. Holy shit, okay, this is, this is like a... The general intensity of this encounter has... Has increased a little bit. Get back here, pussy. What the fuck? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Fuck off! I remember like three minutes ago when I'm like, ha, it's kind of funny that they give you like a health thing here. It seems like a little bit of overkill. Oh my god. Just hump the heart. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm getting my ass whooped. Where the fuck is he? Shit. I feel like once you get hit by one, it is difficult to recover. Damn it. Fuck! How much health does this guy have? What if it just is one of those things that gets pro progressively more and more fucked, but it never actually ends. Okay. I think for this, you just gotta... You gotta do the French Stinkler. I tried to go for Flashy. What if you specifically have to hit him during this? Like, it's coded to where if you don't interrupt... Oh my god. Okay, we got the red star. Holy shit. What a fucking nightmare. Is it gonna kill me when I pick it up? I feel like it's gonna kill me. Yes. 
Power Star. Save? It, what did that do? It's honestly... Yeah, yeah, no, it's... I liked it. Like, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised because it starts off and it's just like this little dude with a little limp wiener sitting there in the corner and then he's doing, like, fucking anime dashing maneuvers. Uh, Rainbow... Rainbow Six... Full Spectrum Warrior on your ass. It's ten bucks for a Domino's Pizza. That's... Like a medium pizza or a large? I think if you do carry out... Pizza Hut's eight dollars. Small? Oh. Well, you know, I'm not Domino's number one fan. Not a huge Domino's head. My movement's all fucked up, bros. Domino's is dog shit. I don't like Domino's. I wish I did. I don't. I just don't see what everyone else sees. My the ones around me just must just be terrible. Where I live, I feel like legitimately I can say that nobody out pizzas the hut. That shit's like manna from heaven. It's not good manna from heaven. It's like manna from fat fuck heaven. But good. Grief, man. I, I really like Pizza Hut. Their wings, the cinnamon rolls. Mwah. Although the thing with Pizza Hut specifically is I feel like you gotta get their pan pizza. Even stuffed crust, like I love stuffed crust, but after eating the pan pizza for so often, it's like, I don't know. Okay. Let's see what's in this. I, I've spent, like, I think hours trying to explore every little bit of this route. There's some doors in one of the previous lobby areas I haven't been in. But I want to see what's going on here. This seems different. This is definitely different. There's a pizza on the floor. Are you still... Are you still not ready to accept that our world is a simulation? Look at this fucking thing. There's a very impressive painting over here. Can I go in? Seems like there might be a hidden door. I think that's an Italian pizza. Like one of their fucked up starfish volcano pizzas. Yeah. Yeah. I like Little Caesars, but I'm trying. I like. I'm trying to lose weight. Like I really am. I feel like Little Caesars is the worst thing you could possibly eat for that purpose. Good night, Bunyip. Okay, there's got to be something in here, right? Maybe it's just a. Isn't good. I would say if you can get an extra most bestest fresh, it can be good. There's just some sort of like curse of Papa John on that shit where if it's even a little bit cold, like I don't know how to describe it. It feels like it spoils way faster than the other ones. Like to the point where it, it's hard for me to put it in the fridge and eat it cold. And I love doing that with pizza. It's the only one where I feel like that's a consideration. Mine too, Torpal. I'm like a catfish. Not because I'm on Tinder, like, trying to fucking fool people into sexual relationships, but because I eat, like, the scum off of the fucking bottom. That doesn't mean I eat ass, though. I think I've been here before. I remember in this area, I asked Vakari which direction to go. Chain pizza, more or less. You know... Here's the thing. I believe that people have really good, like, local pizza places. But where I'm at, they're alright. Maybe my, my palate is just far too conditioned by actual dog shit slop. That's a possibility for sure. 
But I feel like it's twice as expensive and really not all that much better. Like a 10, 20% increase in how good it tastes. I'm sure it's way better health-wise. But I don't know, man. I think I just have bad local places. There used to be one that was really good. But it, it it's not around anymore, so... Sometimes you... Yeah, sometimes you just want to consume slot. That's why we're all here tonight, right? Money is the main factor. Yeah, yeah. Um, even chains are, like, outrageously expensive right now anyways, so... Okay, okay. I'm here for the bitches. I don't think there are any bitches here. We gotta be able to get inside that bitch's guts, right? Like, she's all corrupted and fucked up looking. Okay, maybe there's nothing to that. There is a lot of just... Detail, like, uh, like fluff. It doesn't end up resulting in anything. Substitute my salad for a small cocaine. I just had a horrible realization. You know how there's that thing where you stand up at the beam of light to get to the red cat switch, right? Surely you must be able to make a trigger to produce the same sort of situation, but, like, you don't have to make it a beam of light. It could just be, like, there's random bullshit you look at and it teleports you, maybe. I feel like you would be able to separate the trigger from the object that it's usually associated with, which in this case would be the sunbeam. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it's something to keep in... Why here? Okay. Is this all linked together? Very interesting. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold on. God damn it. So I'm not in the exact same version that I was. Like, the little graphical artifacts glitches are gone. I don't know if that necessarily means that the paths are going to lead to different places here. Or what's going on. What's Giraffe Town? It's a terrible question. Why the fuck would you ask that? How dare you? What the fuck? The pizza's gone? Yeah. I wanna... Make sure I've seen everything this way since I seem to fucked up the progression of events. Okay, so this is... Alright, now... With this... I need to con like I need to put this into my memory. I have a concrete path to 100% get to this fucked up like glitched core type area. I don't know if that's actually what this is supposed to represent, but I'm convinced that there's something in this area that will lead me to the end more or less. But I've never really uh, had a 100% way of getting here. Yeah, I'm sorry I pronounce concrete in a way that you do not like. Curse of Giraffe Town. Right, Giraffe Town. Um. I think that. How would I sum up Giraffe Town? It is like. uniquely fucked. There isn't anything quite like it, and it's not a pleasant experience. Giraffe Town is one of the games I would point to as an example of a profoundly miserable experience being elevated to something more than, than the actual experience. However, I've watched people play it, and almost everyone seems to just have, like, a... It's like watching a man have his, like, have his second circumcision. Is it more miserable than fear and hunger? Yes, I would say so. I wouldn't say it's necessarily harder than Fear and Hunger, but I would say it is more miserable, because Fear and Hunger is difficult, brutal, and fucked at times, but with Fear and Hunger, it's a game of knowledge at the end of the day. 
almost every time you die in Fear and Hunger, you can concretely point to, this is where I fucked up. Sorry, I need to stop saying concretely. Uh, solidly point to where you fucked up. There's a lot of stuff of value there. Um, you're meant to die as like sort of a trial and error way of learning strategies and figuring out the most effective ways to tackle certain enemies, certain levels. I can't say the same about Giraffe Town. Giraffe Town is made by someone who has like a visceral hatred towards the people who share the oxygen on this great planet of ours. Like you can tell that someone hurt him. Someone really fucking hurt this guy. And he wants others to... There are two types of people in this world. There's someone who gets hurt and thinks, I want to be a good person because I don't want to... I don't want anyone to feel half the pain I feel in my heart right now. The other type of person is the sort of person who is wounded and in pain and says, Why aren't other people suffering like I am? I need to make this right. It is not right for me to suffer. Others should suffer with me. I would say the Giraffe Town developer is in that last category. Definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Funny cactus. Hee <laughs> hee. Hell. It is meant to be like a, an, a frustrating experience. You're not supposed to enjoy Giraffe Town. Um, I feel bad. Like I got Torpal to play it, and he he was like, "You know what? I have I respect my time too much to play this shit. Why the fuck did you make me play this shit?" Fair response. Other people I've seen play it did not really seem to have a altogether positive reaction of the experience. Russ had fun? I'm not sure. Okay. What was this place? Right. Right. Right, I totally know where I am. This castle is breathtaking. Every door is something new, and I'm discovering floors I've never even seen before. Oh, God, have I been here. I think I have, but I, I think this is one of the places I've only got, like, a very cursory glance at. Did have a good time playing the Ice Age baby game. Had Lex play that torture game? I was pissed because she did. Oh, you're talking about the Brony one. So when I got her to play that go home game, she was really good at it. She was better and beat it faster than I did. I was just like, damn, that kind of stings a little bit, but damn, you're killing it. I think I got her to play the pony one too, and that was way worse. Brothers, will we ever be free from this labyrinth? The labyrinth of the soul. I think this game is trying to translate the human condition into a Mario 64 mod. What the fuck? Okay, I know for a fact I have not been here. Do you have any... Yeah. So, I played an old version of this map a long time ago, and it had an endpoint. This is the finished version, and it seems to have at least doubled the amount of shit in it. But I'm assuming there is an endpoint. Because they, they seem to have wanted there to be an endpoint for the mod in the prior version, so I don't really have a reason to believe this would be different. This is a mirrored version of the normal lobby. Is this an eyeless toad? It sure is. Well, thank you. We're finally at 120 stars. But this is intentionally made to be as confusing and surreal as possible. It is 
not easy making progress. I do not think getting all of the stars is within the, the realm of reality for me. Okay, I believe I've been here. I think there's under 400 stars total for this mod. I didn't need all of them for the previous version. I, I would wager that there's a good chance that if I find the right route, I have enough to actually, like, win. But whether or not... I, I don't know how, how complicated the route to that endpoint is. I really have no idea. I have all of the power switches now. I can do flying cap, the invisibility, the metal. That was more or less the prerequisite for getting to the final Bowser fight in the old version of B3313. So, like I said, I'm not certain how much it differs in that respect in particular. How long did this mod take to devs? It's been in development for years. The old version I played was... Honestly, it wasn't complete, but it was still very extensive for what it was. And... Oh, God. No! Oh. It's been a couple years since that version. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to Mario game, and I'm not Mario gaming very well. R&R? I need to stop saying that. I need to beat that out of my vocabulary. It's played out. We need something new. We need to make fun of someone other than the Australians. I've had it too bad for too long. Please leave me alone. Are the English still on the table? They're always on the table. And Erm? Well, I don't really like Erm very much. I don't care if other people say it, but that's not something I do. The Erm. What, the silly string? Erm. Uh. Oh. That's more like a Misa pill thing. I'm leaving this place. I don't like it. We need to get back. Genesis Erm? Unironically? Oh, I know. I know. Jenna. Jenna's weird. We all know this. Jenna's. I, I really enjoy Jenna being here, and I like Jenna, but Jenna is not. I'm gonna just say it plainly. Jenna's like the white guy at the cookout. As far as the stream is concerned. They, they're glad that the white guy is there. That's their white guy, but... There's just... There's cultural rifts. You know? And it's a beautiful thing that despite those rifts, you can come together and be brothers or sisters or whatever in the moment. Jenna's our token white. You're all just oldies? That's true. It's hard to argue with that. I mean, I really wonder what the actual average age is. Like, I don't think there's any way of realistically determining that. I think it's probably around 25, but... I don't know. It would kind of suck if, like, they did a census and all of you were, like, 14. <laughs> I would be... Oh. God. Ordering some dog stuff. Is there anything we need for the doggies? I don't think so. Okay. We need to explore these little doors off to the side. Have I finished this? The streamer for 14-year-olds? Yeah. It's hard to tell, Lunar Turtle. Oh. I know I've been here, but is there more? Can 
99 years old as far as... I mean, me too. I feel like we're kind of rapidly approaching the point where... I don't know. Maybe not. I just feel old, man. Sounds silly when I say it. But we're just gonna be treated as like the elderly, the demented. The foolish older generation that's resistant to change and just there to make everyone's lives worse. I don't wanna be that. Wait till you get to 35? I'm already basically 40, if you think about it. Like, I'm turning 32 this year, so... I was five when I started watching you. Turned 32 this year, so... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is. It happens, but... Fuck. I, I just don't know what I imagined, like, ten years ago. Like, what I'm gonna be like when I'm 32, where I'm gonna be at. I guess this is definitely not the worst place to be. By any stretch of the imagination. But, like, I haven't even, like... I don't even have a giant robot yet, dude. How fucked is that? Okay, so we have everything here. Just the young people gotta beat the stereotypes of being dumb and too hopeful? That's true. That's true. I mean, I don't think that I'm... This is... Uh, hello, Penny Lenny. This is a tough thing to talk about because I know how it might sound coming from a Twitch streamer, but we need to be nicer to kids. We need to be nicer to teenagers because I feel like maybe this is my personal experience being a teenager, but I remember... I'm going to be completely upfront. The points that I had when I was 18 that my parents said were nonsense were absolutely fucking right. Um, I think that, y yes, of course, like, 18-year-olds don't know everything. They're lacking a lot in the life experience department. But there's definitely some people who are just like, you are, you cannot possibly know anything at all at, like, age 18. Uh, you're basically, like... Being, like, 14 to 18 for me sucked a lot because, like, you weren't quite a kid, but you weren't quite an adult, and you were getting the bet like, the worst of both. Um, you were expected to be more responsible, but you weren't taken seriously with your opinions. You were... It sucked. Like, it sucked ass, dude. So... I wish... I definitely wish people had been more open-minded to the things I said when I was that age, so I, I agree with you. Initiating self-destruct? Oh god, okay. Is that real or is this fake? Oh god, it's very real. This is fake. This isn't this isn't going to help me. Oh. No, this will help me. I've seen people do fucked up rom hacks where like the entire level is you like playing Metal Mario and platforming by bouncing off of lava. And you you have to do like pinpoint aims at green boxes or you just lose the entire level. It's it's great fun. Thank you, Penny, Lenny, 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 Len, 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 fuck. I'm like the dog that runs into the fucking, like, like, goddamn door when you're trying to go outside. You know what I mean? Holy shit. Yeah, it is glass. Now that I'm looking, there is at... So that means I have to get up there, like, ASAP. I'm just a fucking, like, Labradoodle, dude. God damn it. I don't want to be a fucking Labradoodle. Like, there's nothing wrong with those dogs, don't get me wrong, but like, Jesus Christ. I 
I am not exactly speed gaming out of my mind at the moment. Ah! Oh! My dick hurts, bro. This is fucked up. <laughs> this is fucked up. All right. Why are these fan mods so prolific? Why do people play them and care about them? Because they're fun. It's uh, a callback to when video games were more about having fun and enjoying yourself rather than like FOMO and like live like games as a service. Gotta play, gotta get your battle pass. And I think in addition, it's not like there is a, a huge amount of good 3D platformers being released. There's some shitty bots that whisper me on Twitch asking- Yeah, that's, that's been happening for a while. If you get whispers from anyone you don't know, they are trying to, uh, They're trying to fish you. I know you know that, Salamander, but just in general, if you guys get DMs from strange fuckers, that's, that's, uh, what's going on. Because, like, when was the last time there was, like, a really good 3D platformer? Like, they do come out occasionally, but... It's more like side-scrollers, and side-scrollers are great, but the 3D platformers like Banjo and Mario are just not exactly the most common type of game. So people who really like those games specifically kind of have to do it themselves. When do they? I don't know. You can let us know. Uh, social engineering, perhaps. I'm sure at some point we're going to get like chat GB, GPT powered bots that try to like actually simulate a real conversation to get you to give them real info. Can you please tell- we literally just got a dog bed for free. Market demand is basically non-existent. I mean that's one thing, yeah. I don't think that's all of it, but that's definitely a big contributor. I think Mario 64 as well has a lot of people who really harken back to the days of this game. This is one of the first games I played, so... Oh. Dang. As the pig would say, unlucky. God, I, I am so ass at this. I need to work on my fucking ball control, dude. Okay, if I start playing like fucking Saddam Hussein right now, I might be able to pull it back. We gotta pull it back like an uncircumcised boy. Okay, I was about to be like very- what the fuck? Huh? Oh good, so like- oh, oh. This might be dire. I hope there isn't too much here because if we have to do that every single time we attempt anything on this level, that could really hard skill issue me. But I was not expecting that, that's pretty cool. Shit, 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 shit. Please, please. What?! Alright. So does, does Z cancel the shell? I think hitting Z might cancel the shell. I was trying to re- like, do my camera and I guess, uh... Oh fuck. Ugh. Oh, oof. Ouch. Owie. Okay. Oh! Fuck off, little dude. Nobody likes you. Everybody's rooting for your failure. Just wait, just wait, just wait. 
just be patient. Okay. That is just for like an attempt at this part. Now granted, this doesn't seem too hard. I should not have pressed Z there. So it's not like it's like a really difficult platforming challenge from all appearances, but still. We have to do it at least twice. There's the red coins and then the regular star. I just wish it wouldn't like force my camera like this. Like I can't, I cannot wrangle the camera the way I want it to here. There's also a possibility we can go inside of the volcano. Alright. When are you gonna take the fat tag off your stream? I feel like people will always know me as, like, fat. I could be, like, 120 pounds, but... I think I just exude, like, a fat energy. Does that make sense? Maybe it's because I'm American. Fat at heart. Fat in the arteries. Fat bitch energy? Yeah, basically. Oof. I almost fucked my momentum there. Holy shit. Let's relax. There's nothing to be afraid of. We've done it twice in a row. There's literally no way we can fail. Excellence embodied. Talent prevails. said I am very curious how you were meant to get to that particular glass wall in the allotted time that seems uniquely fucked to me because presumably the only like there must be another invisibility cap up there because if you have to do it while ma like maintaining the invisibility from the first one then you've got to be like an absolute god at the game like that is not a lot of time Fat is normal sized in Texas. There's definitely a conversation to be had about how people's perceptions of what fat is has changed because of how fat everyone is. Like 210 pounds at 5 foot 10. I've had people tell me that's not fat. Like bullshit it ain't, you know? It definitely is. I think it's just like there's always there's always a bigger whale, you know? Just because a blue whale exists doesn't mean a humpback isn't titanic. I am not sure how I'm feeling about the idea of uh, going back to that oil drum to see what the water's like in the crater. Not the crater, that's not the right word. The mouth of the volcano. I think I'll be able to make it, bros. I gotta be much faster. Okay. Up where? What? What? Ah. Uh. Has it stopped? 
There is a star over there. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. All right. There's definitely something behind there, but how am I going to make it? Oof. What is this? Can I get over here? Dude, it's so hot in my room right now, and the lava ambience is making me feel a certain type of... Wait, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just got, like, a fucking office up here. Koopa is still missing. Production is low. And now your ugly mustache plumber face is here and destroyed the little materials we had left. When you activated the self-destruct, can this day get any worse? I'll cut you a deal. You can have this star in exchange that you leave and never come back to this factory ever again. And please stay away from our vault. It's all we've got. So there's, like, two more stars in here, it looks like. Oh, and I don't even have to restart. Okay, cool. Wait, 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 wait. What's, uh, what's up with this particular depiction? Interesting mustache. It is a very fascinating mustache. get these little fuckers off. It seems like it's reset and I can get back down there now. So I suppose that is what I must do. Oh, and then I immediately fucking beefed it. But it's not... It's not entirely over. Excellent. Oh, no. Okay, okay, all right. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. All right, all right. I wanted the coins, but if you're going to be that way... Bon voyage, bitch. Stop. Dude, I can't afford for him to fuck me over at the pivotal moment. Oh, no, this is going to be... Okay, dude. You didn't need to... No, I did need to do that to him. I did. I did. I'm sorry. Just matter-of-factly, it had to happen. Okay, now we need to figure out what that portrait is, and I think we're good here. It's such a cool level. It is. It is. The... Even if you got rid of all of the surreal bullshit, like the Mario creepypasta horror elements, I think the level design in this in general is pretty good for the most part. A lot of varied levels, a lot of interesting shit. All of the other stuff isn't bad, don't get me wrong. I love that too. But just the sheer volume of, of levels you have to work with here is really impressive. I bet it smells like shit in this room. Do you think, like, being like being in close proximity to lava would probably really fuck your nose hairs up, huh? <laughs> Not a lavaographer, but it seems like it would uh, go that way to me. If you're close enough, like, if you're a couple feet, I'm pretty sure you can still get, like, third-degree de burns and all. Uh-oh. Damn, he, he played the corner really well there bitch. 
Holy shit, by the skin of my dick, dude, and I don't have that much left! Oh, okay. That... That was an alright recovery, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude. Okay, no. I. The last thing I want is, is to be sent to homosexual infant incarceration by one of you little fuckers. That's... Okay. Lava all just here. Lava smells like rats. I like the smell of metal. Put in the cuck shed forever. Wow. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Beyonce, help me. There's red coins. There's red coins. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, we're chilling strips. We're chilling strips. No tripping strips. Yeah, I'm with you. Like, a, a little water area is not exactly what I had uh, anticipated either. I think I know what a rat smells like. So, rats are weird. I feel like the actual rats, at least pet rats, don't smell that much themselves, but the, the their enclosure is pretty fucking stinky. Like, they clean themselves, but they live in squalor. Kind of like me, honestly. Like I'm pretty, I'm pretty anal about always like uh, taking care of hygiene, but not always anal about cleaning the fucking diet coke cans off of my desk. All right. Fuck yeah, we did it, dude. 125 stars. That was a very productive level. We got a lot out of that one. Fuck yeah. I like that level. Yeah, it was fun. I still gotta wonder what the hardest level in this mod is going to be. Still inside of a volcano? I mean, I guess. Chat, do you think I should try to go inside of a volcano? I, we have to. You're right. We have to. There's no way. Like... People are going to be wondering what is in there for the rest of their lives, of course. What if Sexy Yoshi is down there underneath it all? What if we finally get an opportunity to see what that tongue really do? Shit. That was a big fuck up, but the timing is not as tight as a tight. You're good, you're good, you're good. We're 100% chilling strips right now. Okay, we did it, yippee, let's see what's in this fucking volcano, I'm sure it's going to be nothing but good things. Best possible. It was pretty funny. But now we know for a fact. 
I honestly think at this point I might prefer that to having there be like a really difficult obstacle course and then I have to replay that level a hundred times to beat it. You know, that's the bitch in me speaking, but uh... You know? This is a really fucking weird room. Oh shit, okay. Oh my fucking god, what is this? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that seems like an excellent time to go get a Diet Coca-Cola. I'll be right back. Holy shit. Okay. I feel it in my temples, I feel it in my loins. So this isn't gonna burn me, right? Okay. Welcome to the Snow Ravine, a great place for tourists to stay. Just make sure to watch your temperature. This seems like fucking dog shit as a tourist, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if I would like being here. I sure am glad this tent is here to keep me warm. If only these Goombas next door stop being so- Uh oh, there's Goomba fucking over here. They're having a big old Goomba orgy and keeping everyone up. You think, like, it's all of these Goombas, too? They're at Iceburn? Not really. I just don't know if I would want to be stuck in an ice ravine, you know? It's when I said that I wouldn't mind to hear my daughters mow to their boyfriends fucking them as long as I- Wait, 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 that's insane. What? I'm glad you're gay, bro. Like, I'm glad that, like... I mean, adoption is always a thing, but, like, good God, dog. <laughs> good God, dog. Please don't. Please don't reproduce. Please. That's really gross. Holy fuck. To what? No, I think they're funny a lot of the time, but this particular scenario is a little bit over, over, uh... Sorry, gone fishing. You can find me by the bob -omb Ice Fishing Camp. I've got hot cocoa and tents to sleep in. Okay. Wait. So is something... I don't think there's, like, that manner of trigger where you get to, like... Hmm. Can I break these, actually? Does anyone remember the ice and salt challenge? That's gonna be my challenge when I go to Whataburger, dude. I need some motherfucking salt and I need some motherfucking ice. Uniquely beautiful. I mean, I think you can learn things from nearly everybody. It's just not... The lesson from every person is not always a good one. Did 
does make it a little better that Cool 109 said it. How? I mean, I guess, like, for JFC, but, like, good grief. Shit. Salty ice? No, salty... Well, I guess you're... Yeah. Salty ice. What, what is that about, actually? Cinnamon, it was a challenge back in the day. Hmm. The lesson is think before you speak. Well, to be fair, if there's ever a location where you, you're probably better suited not thinking and just primarily speaking, it is in a Twitch chat, right? I think that's one of the reasons why people like Twitch chat is because you're not really... No one's expecting you to be... Uh oh Man, I'm not used to this camera. The way I have it right now. I'm trying to get, like... It's better, but I suck at it. Can barely breathe for, like, five minutes? I've never seen the appeal in doing any of those challenges, personally. My sorts of challenges are, like... Hey, I want to eat, like, a really big burger and two orders of fries. I'll call it the Boogie 2988 Challenge. I think this little guy needs to die. What the fuck? The Shadow Goomba over there made me think... The sha Sorry, he's not a Shadow Goomba. I didn't mean to say anything offensive. But, like, just the way he was there interacting with the Shadow made me, like, take a second to realize what I was fucking looking at. Erm, don't you fucking erm me. Damn. Now we're back here. Offensive to Goombas? Well, I myself am a Goomba. Like, I'm five foot ten. Pretty much my only purpose in life is to be stepped on by the tall folk. Most people would agree with that. Sonic, there are more Shadow Goombas to take out. I'm sure there is some sort of Mario media that has a Shadow Goomba. I placed three of my left nut hairs on it. When I did the cinnamon challenge, I did the full spoonful without any problems, so I inhaled half the bottle, and that made me puke out my insides. I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Hello, Met Mank. Dark blue and dark green Goombas in the pit. I know Chump knows his Mario, so I believe him. I think that was the icy ravine. What's in door number four? Oh no, this looks like fucking AIDS. <laughs> I hate these sky areas, dude. God damn it. Oh, it's moments like these where I wish I was homophobic. But I, I'm not afraid. I will I will move on forward. I'm pretty sure that I've been to this area once. Like, out of all of those four doors, I picked this one. And it was the worst shit ever. Still doing this? Well, I haven't really uh, played since last time. Feel like my chat only only accepts Mario. Oh, what the fuck? In, in small doses. God damn it. Mario decided to hit the McGriddle there. 
Don't blame chat. No, 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 I am. I am. Like, it's not a mean thing. It's like, it's my job to be entertaining. But, you know, I just, I don't feel like they're all that into Mario, you know? It's 12, yeah, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to be, it's my, it's my responsibility and my fault. But it's like, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to place the blame on anyone else. It's just that if so, chat's not into the game, it's not their fault. You gotta do stuff that people actually like. Like, see, it's like a, a thing with me, right? Because you know what my my favorite game is right now? Just mindlessly sitting there playing with my little baby dick, playing RuneScape three all fucking day. Wouldn't make a good stream. I wish that weren't the, that wasn't the case, but it, like no one wants to watch me chop fucking trees for ten hours, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> so you gotta you gotta find like a like a happy medium, a compromise, something that you like playing. RSV, I'm starting to like it more than OSRS right now. Maybe that's because I've played so much OSRS, but I'm seeing what people mean when they say that it is wrongly reviled. I also understand, like, there are definitely big criticisms of it that are valid, but... I don't know, man. That Mario has 11 credit cards maxed out to support his plumbing business. I mean, I don't really care about efficiency. I care about what I like, you know? I'll probably have to use Revo eventually, but for now, I'm, I'm perfectly content using Legacy. And I have used Revo. I don't... I don't have, like, a burning hatred for it, but I don't really like it either. Oda, it is a emote that you need an extension to see. It's supposed to be a dancing hedgehog. I think you need... 7 TV, but it's not really worth getting it. Okay. I trust you. You probably shouldn't, but thank you. No clue what the Revo bar. It just uses your abilities automatically so you don't have to manually click everything, but it's kind of funky. Because I guess at one point they didn't have that, and all of those abilities you would have to uh, use manually, like every single time, which. That definitely doesn't sound like my idea of fun. Where the fuck am I? I hate Necro, though. My Necro is level one. Places on mushrooms or something it is. This is one of the most bizarre parts of the mod, and I still... still don't really know how to make heads or tails of it. Expected a sacrificial worm in there. Oh, to be a sacrificial worm. I'd be a sacrificial worm for some Whataburger right now. Uh, okay, okay. What about on this side? If we're in the Moon and Star Hall. Oh, God. Oh, have I been here? I guess I gotta go through. Fuck you, you stupid ass fish. Suck my dick. Nobody loves you. Nobody's going to your funeral, pussy. Die. The problem is there's a bunch of areas that I don't really remember exactly how to get to that required me to use, like, the wing cap or the inviso cap or something. And I cannot recall where all of them are. I know there's, like, a water area that had, like, a grate that I needed to go through with the invisibility shit. But managing my way back has proven to be quite difficult. It's the best way to get 50 followers. I have no idea. Um, I kind of lucked out being in the Dark Souls category when I started streaming. I feel like... 
I don't know. People are really crazy over Elden Ring, and I don't think they've ever stopped being crazy over Elden Ring. So I would say doing challenge runs for Elden Ring. And if you want to expedite the process, like, rub hands with other people so they can promote your epic stream. And just in time for the DLC. I don't know if that's actually the case right now. But that... I saw a lot of that, like, eight years ago when I played Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. <laughs> so... Just don't be a woman or you get mansplained by the other challenge runners. Yeah. Got to, uh... Make sure to appease everyone's ego. There's a lot of it there, so you have to be walking on eggshells. Have I fucking been here? Do wacky mods like this one? Well, I don't know. I don't really feel like... I feel like this is actually one of the worst things imaginable to stream. Because I think that people who are super into Super Mario 64, for example, probably don't want to watch, like, a casual player, like, bumble through, like, a dumb fuck mod. They want to watch, like, epic speedruns. And... I feel like, uh... I don't know. But at the same time, you kind of have to have at least a cursory knowledge of Mario 64 to get anything out of this. And more importantly, like, the Mario 64 creepypasta shit. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of loosely connected tunnels and, like, nonsense the whole way through. You get mansplained if your name is Tolo too. Mm. Think with them, when I was doing Souls, like, no one would ever say anything directly to me. It was just, like, Cloak and Dagger subterfuge. Like I said, my idea of what the Souls community is like is probably not very accurate, considering it has been, like, last challenge run I did was 2017, but it was very much a non-confrontational group of busybody gossips. What do you mean it keeps changing? The castles always look like this, leaving the castle. What are you talking about? There's nothing out there. I feel like I've been here, but now there's a million different doors. Mario runs like me after grinding 99 wood cutting. I think I've been here, but I'm not sure. Yes. No. No, this... I don't remember the checker platform in this. Okay. So I suppose this is new then. What if the floor is a door? It could be. Oh, God. All right. This is different. No, it definitely is. That's how it fucks with you. There's so many areas that are, in fact, different, but really do not look very different, so... Let's... We're gonna do... I need to be a little closer to the wall. Can I not get up there? Hold on. Maybe I should just, like, really use these platforms. Uh-oh. Wow, this is kind of miserable, huh? Let me the fuck up. Oh, no. Okay. Don't do it, stream. I'm just setting him down. I'm just setting him down. So I don't have to come up here twice. He's got... No, he's not. Oh, my God. No, don't do it. Okay, 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 okay. No, don't do it. This isn't how it was meant to be. Alright, well, regrettably, I'm not sure how much time we have for your brother, or sister, or whatever the fuck that thing was. But we gotta go. How fucked would it be if it was two separate stars and you have to, like, guess the right penguin? 
But if you do... Like, I could see a situation where you gra you think you grab the different one and you get the same star and you think there's nothing to it, but there's secretly two stars from two separate penguins. That sounds like something this dev would do. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, okay. We got this. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> Later, pussy. Okay, well, admittedly, that could have gone a little bit better. I think we can all agree on that. I didn't intend to chump come. I'm not trying to go into this, like, with a, with a hatred in my heart towards baby penguins. I would never. That ain't me, homie. I think penguins are adorable. Is this just like the original slide but rescanned ice? Kind of feels like it. Woo! Woo! Okay, but there's a star down there. Because we've we've had fucked up slides. Oh, there's also a fuck ton of Goombas down there. You're just fish trying to look like birds? Well, I like fish. I have pet fish. There's nothing wrong with a fish bird hybrid. Let's try this again. Maybe I could just do, like, full geriatric mode. Just go real fucking slow. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi. How are you? Tired. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. I need to get the fuck down here. You want me to pass the controller, don't you? No. Are you sure? Okay. I suck at this shit. Yeah, me too. I could never be. Just pull it a little bit. Dude, there's literally no way this can go tits up. Fucking Tolomeo world peace here, baby. Oh. Yeah, baby. Fuck, baby. Easy, yeah. Easy, 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 easy. Where's the star at? I saw the star. I saw the star. Where are you? Did you... Am I on drug? Yeah. So maybe you saw the star at the wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm on drug. I swear. I saw that shit. Is there a time limit? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I saw a ledge up there. I mean, I see this, but I don't. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's like a. You saw what I saw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little slant. Whoa, what is that? There's like a fucking. It's not like. Oh, I think it's just a messed up texture. There's no way. It is. There's Look, no, no, right no. There. There's no way. You're... It's literally. Oh, oh. Hold, hold on, hold on. Hold oh. on. Okay. Okay. Literally? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? Come on! That's so AIDS! Alright, I have to go to bed. Alrighty. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Oh, what is this? A solo? Women just be stealing sodas whenever they want. Am I right, fellas? What the fuck? I hate this shit. I deserve a soda after today. Yeah, you <laughs> okay. probably do. What a long fucking day. I've been up since 9.30. <sighs> How am I going to make this mix? Throw them off, throw them off! 
Get over here, pussy. He's trolling me. <laughs> He's fucking with me, dude. This is fucked up. There you go. He's not on that slope anymore. I think I slide on that, too. I think I slide on all of this. What the fuck? We all know a motherfucker like this penguin. You're just trying to help him, and they're just being like an asshole. <laughs> he fall too! <laughs> oh. Maybe you gotta, like, kick him. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to kill myself... Don't do it, Tolo. What? Kick the baby? Can you do that? I'm not... dream I had last night. Oh, oh, good. Where I was, like, dumping, like, hydrogen peroxide down a baby's throat, and then I realized what I was doing. That's awesome. I was like, uh oh, is this thing gonna die? I should probably take This it. thing, huh? <laughs> well, listen, it wasn't a baby at first. It was something else. I don't know what it was. Some weird creature. And it was like invading our home, but then it turned into a child. Oh, it's it probably the, the skink of Marink. Yeah, it didn't start as a child, <laughs> but it turned into one. Listen, guys. Invasive baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, dude! Fuck it, dude! Oh. Thumbs up, let's do it! Oh my god, I ended up in the same place. Okay, so, is there like a... Let me set you down for just a moment, please don't die. Can I like slide down here? It's hard to tell. No, I can, I can for sure. I can for sure. There's no way this can this can go wrong. Oh fuck. <gasps> Die! No! Sorry. Live strong, homie. Oh wait, he's fine. Yeah, but I can't get him. <laughs> well, his shadow clone is up there if you wanna go back up. <laughs> now what? It's fucked! The tits have gone up, there's no bringing them back down. Alright, good night. Love you. Love you too. Why did that explode? I don't know. He just, he fucking, he had a little bit of an episode. Okay, so I need to get my coins back. We got this, though. Like, you saw that that was, like, a bulletproof strategy. Let's try this way. I got a lot of faith going this shit. Like, if I go... Where the fuck am I, dude? No way I can go tits up. Here, here's your. St For the briefest of fucking. That's not my baby. His parents must be. What the fuck? I deserve that. I deserve that. I deserve that. Like, I did. I did. I just did. You know? Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes there is. Not always, but that was definitely a moment where I, I reap what I sowed and I deserve that 110%. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Holy shit, what a nightmare. Out fucking skill. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Absolutely fucking manhandled. There's never been a punishment so deserved as long as the universe has existed. 
God damn it. Damn, I have not had a lot of progress in terms of star count today, huh? I think I've gotten like what? 13? Kind of slow into a crawl. Oh, is this. This is gonna take me to Goomba Prison, isn't it? 128 is a good number. Well, with this sort of thing, like. It's not gonna be too bad to get the low hanging fruit, right? The further in you get, and the more. The deeper you have to go to get to new places, it's gonna. Like, the rate of acquiring new stuff is gonna just drop and drop and drop. It would not surprise me if there was a situation where, say, I need to go get more health, breath. Let's say there's 400 stars and you have 399, but the last one takes almost as long as the first 399. Because there's not as many new places where you're not sure where you missed something. I'm pretty sure I've died in this place before, this fucked up little water labyrinth. How much total? I'm not sure, but somewhere in the neighborhood of 400. Which is quite a titanic amount. Oh god, look at this. Oh! That's a pleasant surprise. Thought it was gonna be- oops, all purple coins. Fuck you, Tolomeo. I need to go back, though. DK64 looking room. To get back there. I know exactly where I'm going at all times. Trust and believe that. I have the navigational abilities of a rat in a maze. I still gotta wonder what the fuck the red star where there was a boss fight. Like, that, that happened, and that really, like... I have no idea what the fuck that was about. I don't think it increased my star total. I don't think it did anything. Not that... It, I mean, I'm sure it did something. Did you take it? 100% I did. But... Maybe you got plus one inch? Yeah, maybe. Could open, like, some door somewhere or some shit. I really have no idea. Do we know what power stars do? I mean, yes and no. I actually made it back perfectly. Are you impressed? Please hold your excitement and your applause. Like, normally you need, like, a certain number of power stars to make progress in the castle, but I don't know if there's, like, a, uh, like, a similar thing in this mod. It doesn't appear to be the case that I've seen. At least not, like, a visible, you need 40 stars to go beyond this point. Six-figure salary. Six-inch dick. Six-foot tall. Okay. Now, where does this go? This music is... Oh no, okay. I've been here before. We gotta see what's in the Bowser room. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten? This area looks fucking cool. I like the way the, the painting for this one looks. It's like fat fucking doobie smoke ring mountain. And it's the back here. There, there truly is no god. I think we can all agree. Wait. I'm freezing. I'll be on my way to Tall Tall Mountain. We'll return in the summer. Okay. Oh. Fuck yeah. That's most definitely what's up. And just like that... Seasons have changed.
I really love his scream. I don't think that's ever going to get old to me. The real nut button. Now we need to figure out what to do here. This game is amazing. It feels like there's more below. I bet you you have to come down here when it's snowy to get like a something there. Although it seems like I'm gonna be able to switch it back and forth easy peasy. Oh, sure enough. Okay. Now does the painting on the other side of the corridor let me go through as well? It does. I guess the difference is which which state it, it starts in, whether it's snowy or regular. I personally am partial to the greenery. I hate snow levels in video games. Oh no. Don't tell me. Okay. That would have been pretty funny if you just kind of, like, have to eat shit on that. You're stuck in the little boulder passage. Octopus? I don't know if I feel comfortable eating octopus knowing how smart they are. Like, octopus are probably smarter than I am, which, granted, is not necessarily a legendary bar. But, I don't know, it just feels kind of fucked up. I mean, you wouldn't eat, like, sushi fish, would you? Calamari? I think calamari squid, isn't it? I think, you, like, squids are stupid as far as I'm aware. I don't think it's squids. I think it's squid. Maybe it can be both. Literally the hardest jump ever. Only I could have pulled that off. The master in action. Sushi fish is like heavy metal, so I wouldn't trust it. There doesn't seem like there's a whole lot more left to do here. Locking Miyamoto in a room and forcing him to play this? Yeah, he's old too, so it'd be really confusing. What if I like, gave him dementia? Then it would be like a real creepy pasta where the game dev played it and like literally went insane. And people could make like Miyamoto.exe for a hundred years. It's fucked up. Yeah, it is. Hold on, what if? Was there something on top? This is a really cool area. There doesn't... I feel like I'm missing something. I have to be missing something, right? It feels like there wouldn't just be one star here. Seems like a lot of effort to make this a place like this with the switching seasons and just have it be like a one-pump chump. What am I missing? You heard me, chump comp. My kink is forcing old men to play creepypasta versions of their games. I feel like a lot of them would get a thrill out of that. If I made a game, I would like to play like a fucked up version someone made that allegedly kills people. It'd be a riot. It does feel like there's more to this. It's just, I, I think I've been reasonably... Wait, hold on. Is it this? Hold up a second. This is like one of the stranger points. 
Make your Minecraft dungeon real touch compatible? Yeah, go for it. It's lost media now. You can't find it, but... If you fail, it eats your cock. That'd be kind of cool. Can we get the explanation of what a beak job is? I don't know. You'll have to ask Chica lovers. I'm not a Freddy head. Okay. Well, it seems like there's not much more to this place. What a, a beak job, like a, like a, some sort of sexual act performed on a penis with a beak. I would imagine it would be quite painful. It's time for Zara Bax to hit the Zara bed later. Take it easy. Shit. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What does this say? Can I please get two likes? On, on what? Like your Facebook? You're in the wrong place for likes. We hate everything here. We don't like anything. Except for food. So unless you want to offer yourself up to be consumed by the pack. I don't think you're going to be getting what you're here for. This is Facebook. I mean, when pop it apps here, it feels like it sometimes, but... Oh, I know where we are. Okay. Three likes? What are we liking? You haven't explained. Like, how can we like something that is intangible to us? That's insane. The price has gone up. Demanding three... Yeah, like... You're telling me that I can play Legend of Zelda right now and there's a like, like, like? I mean, I haven't played Skyward Sword or any of the new ones, but... I'm not buying it, bro. X, don't you fucking XD me, you little pussy. Fuck you. Don't you little f me, you fucking piece of shit, oak tree. Fuck you. God damn it. What was the question? Don't worry about it. It wasn't important. I'll follow for 16 likes? What the hell are you talking about? Are you on drugs? Share! Let me be shameful with us. No, 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 no self-promotion. No, 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 no. You don't even want most of these fuckers. Like, no offense, but like, do you want Jenna in your chat? Oh. What the fuck is happening today? I'm one of those guys? Yeah, no, no, that's rude. That's rude. We don't like rude here. I'll subscribe for three likes. It's my fault? It usually is, but that's alright. God, okay, so I remember this place, but I don't recall if there was something else I needed to do that I was unable to when I arrived here at first. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, y Yana, I'm yoking. It's a funny yoke. Haha. <laughs> Ever since she started selling flowers, all these bots keep coming here. I'm acting too. I don't believe you, Jenna. Everything you say is 100% serious, and everything I say is a joke when it's convenient. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Like every offhanded comment I make is the truest reflection of my innermost thoughts. Unless it makes me look bad. Yes. 
still need 14 more likes i i you know i'm gonna be up front with you like I, number one i don't really care like it's hard for me to care about something if you haven't even explained like why we should be liking something uh shit we need to go to the geriatric star hello watermelon this seems important i bet it's a boss fight where we have to well maybe not wait what the fuck can you even tell us what to like? Yeah, I don't know who's liking this shit. No. No, not this fucking place again. Good time playing this? Yes, I'm only playing this because I want to play it. I, I strongly feel like this is something that is a selfish stream. Like, it's not a... I don't think there are that many people who are going to be like, Oh, thank fucking God he's playing... Mario, but I want to fucking play it, so I just tacked it on to the end of other shit to troll people. Is he counting down? Maybe, but like, fuck him. He's counting down until the point where I put my dick in his mouth. And we'll see, we'll see who likes that. Oh, she do not use the turtle on me. Whoa, what? You heard me. I didn't stutter. What if it's a child? Well, then I rescind my statement, but I don't really feel like... I feel like the odds of a child, like, just randomly wandering into a Mario 64 stream, literally infinitesimal. Like, how many, like, Gen Alpha children like Super Mario 64? I feel like the odds are definitely in our favor on that one. A lot? I don't know, maybe. I mean, it's a good game. Minecraft? Is your name Randy? Completely random question. Are you fucking with me, Randy? Hmm? Huh? Hello, most average. I don't think it is side here, but he's... Th that really reminded me of, like, someone I, I used to play video games with who would just say shit like that. Now, the likes thing isn't necessarily in character, but, like... Hmm. Oh, no. No, we don't need to be here. Five more... Can I get 16 dislikes? Can't believe bro asked for 50 followers and then left. That's just how it is sometimes. Okay, let's try going in here. Oh my fucking god, what is this? Oh, oh no, oh um, no. This is like a Minecraft level. Is it like a Mario Sunshine level? It kind of does. Okay, fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh god, like it dropped me in the right place, but in a different version. I don't know. So, does this mean it's going to be the same thing if I go back? Seems like it. Okay. Well, fuck, that means I gotta do it again. I'm just gonna try to, like... I'm gonna try to do something JFC would be proud of. He likes Mario. Yeah, we nailed it. Completely fucking dominated. Sodomized. Truly a legend. I tried to be a Mario uh, epic speedrunner, and I just, you know, not, never been good at cosplay. Haven't tried it, but probably not very good at it. I should cosplay as, like, King Cobra JFS. I think I've got the look for it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't die. I'll be over later tonight, alright? Keep an eye on the window. I like the trees. In front of your house. I think they're nice and they look lovely this time of year. Now your next Halloween costume? I have no idea. Shit was so heat, speeding on the train, shooting enemies with cannons and shit. With that big ass castle in the sky? Oh, okay, you guys are talking about a Zelda. I was really fucking confused for a moment. Post Moz phase entered. Okay, feel me on this. Good idea, bad idea. Pay Moz 1,000 United States dollars to 100% this mod. With active running commentary on his part. I think it would be good. I would be very, very curious to see what would happen. Okay, what What if we go in Peach's... Oh. Okay, I was going to go in Peach's hole, but... It seems like God has other things planned for me tonight. This doesn't seem like a happy, safe area. I'm pretty sure I drowned here once. I think I went to the right, and it was a dead end, and I died. Shit. But thank you, Kostya, for the 14-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. They wouldn't just make this, like, nothing, right? They wouldn't just make this, like, a fuck you, idiot. Hee hee hee! You're dead, lol, lamau. Right? God damn it. Swimming with steel-toed boots is a flex. Christ almighty, okay. I think- I did, I did, I did. Call me Ben, bitch, because I'm fucking drowned. God, the mod. Why is this place so fucking weird? I really don't like how this part just has no music, no sounds in the background. It's alone with my thoughts. I think you gotta get the scooping gear. The scooping gear, huh? I still can't believe my chat hates me as much as they do. Can you believe, like, two Five Nights at Freddy's suggestions for bingo? Like, why? At least those are out of the way so I can go on to things that aren't gonna make me wanna, like, cry. Good, cool, 109 love, but bad at the same time. Thoughts scare you? I'm actually pretty comfortable with my own thoughts, but... A lot of people have... What is this? I see the clock tile set, and I'm just... No! No, 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 no! Why, God? 
What the fuck is this shit by Dr. Seuss? Whenever you think you're at rock bottom, I want you to remember there is no such thing. You can always go further down. Oh no. I fucked it up. Holy shit, and I somehow managed to clutch it. Holy shit, okay. This lean portal really makes me think. Level was designed by Miyamoto himself. Alright. Let's have a serious conversation. Do you think we should explore more of that underwater nightmare that just seems to be a fuck you, you're dead? Part of me really feels like there's something to that. It's too big of an area to just have nothing, right? But at the same time, with this... Okay, you guys want me to die. I see. Wait a minute. Have I been here? I have. I remember this place. But I think... Yes, this was one of the ones where I, I actually think I needed the invisibility cat for a star. If I'm not misremembering, there was like a pit with a cage somewhere. Yeah, down there. Okay. Can we make it? Easy, baby. All right. I think that's it. I don't think there were multiple Inviso stars there. A real gamer would probably check and make sure, but we've got to solve the mystery of the water fuckfest. So what do you think that little bit about the 16 likes was... What do you think was that guy's problem? He needed... I mean, I guess you're right. But do you think it was like a serious attempt, or do you think it was just like... Math? Fucking up the rhythm, boys. I think the other route has this too. God damn it. Because I'm pretty sure I went to the right and there was a similar sort of thing where you just. It goes through a fucking black door and you just lose and die. I don't know why I let myself die there. I should have just allowed, like, like just reset and, like, fast travel back to the beginning. How has stream been going? That's a good fucking question. I was forced to play Five Nights at Freddy's games. That part was really cool. And now I'm playing this because I'm sick in the fucking head and I want to play this. But I'm... I'm starting to think I might not get to the, the 400 star point. It's looking increasingly unlikely. I think I've only gotten like 10 today. I also haven't eaten, so I'm fiending for Waterbergens at the moment. Absolutely famished. I'm gonna be like a... I don't know, like a, like a fucking... Like one of those snapping turtles when you throw a rat in the tank. One of the most traumatizing videos I've ever seen. 
please get two dislikes? Well, I don't, I don't think anyone in here would dislike anything, right? I think I speak for all of us when I say we're all like open-minded and accepting of new trends, new games, new movies, new books. Yeah, just, we're just supremely open-minded in every facet. Have Luigi get it? He's chained up and trained well by Wario. Should he fail, Wario farts in his face. What the fuck? What the hell are you talking about? Why would you say something like that? Souls? I mean, I like Souls games at one point, but, like, I played them... Even before I was streaming, they were the primary thing I played forever. Like, years, since Demon Souls. Like, I would play my little fucking Flavor of the Month MMO or multiplayer game, like League. But my single-player game was just... The Dark Soul. You know? Thank you, Bruno, for the 48-month resub. I appreciate it. Let's go in here. Oh, this doesn't seem like a good place to be at all. Is this where Goomba Jail was? No, let him out! Free him! What souls did you like the best? We're talking like actual games with souls in the title, Dark Souls 3. It's not a popular opinion. If we're talking about all of them together, probably Bloodborne. Bloodborne's pretty goddamn good. What horrible end is this going to have? Holy shit. This feels like a substantial discovery to me. I don't think I've been here. This seems like an absolutely, like, fuck massive area. It looks like the fucked up core, but a different part of it that doesn't have all the messed up music. Although I think all of these doors are familiar. Let's just keep going straight. No distractions. A singular laser focus, determined perspective on, on the goal. I've been here for sure. I think I went down that pipe. Fuck. I'm not sure I came here through the same route, but... Deja fucking who. I think I did the exact same thing. You get a bad feeling from this wall, best to forget about it. Okay. Well, considering what happened with the last wall that told me that, I think I will respect that warning for the time being. So gay, do gay, so fucking gay, just so gay, okay, whatever, gay. And, but you forgot Sazu gay. Thank you for the 69 month resub, Nani23213. This looks like some fucked up, like, backrooms ARG picture where they're turning, like, little kids into bombs. <laughs> I don't like the way this portrait looks, dude. Okay, okay. 
Let's see what this is about then. Oh. Music's nice. What do you think happened to Butters? Oh, they probably put him on bread. Literally the champion of the universe. No one can do it quite like me. That's for sure. And I think with that I am fucked. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. It respawned. Thank God. Surely I'm not gonna mess this up. Did alright, but... I thought I was faster. Imagine getting hit with, like, the seven gorillion ton hydraulic press. No! No! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Can I get one of those flattening machines? I think they sell them at Barnes & Noble. I think I saw one there. I believe I remember how to get there. It's taking a while, but... I do remember the layout of what I've been going through so far. The problem is, with this, is I'm sure there are faster routes to get to where I want to go. But this is helping me imagine it as, like, one singular path. Like, I know it's all interconnected. Just follow the same route each time, explore, like, the offshoots. Gonna miss some stuff, of course, but it helps me get, like, a general idea of where the fuck I'm going. Thank you, Usagi, for the 71-month resub. I appreciate it. What's up, dog? We need to get to that goddamn factory. I want to beat that. That looks super fun. It was hard to see, but at the end there, there was like a little bridge with spiders on it, and there was a gap where if you didn't jump and just expected it to take you, you would have felt like you would have fell and die. What do you mean by Fugma? Go back real quick to apologize for the self-promo felt bad about it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's not like you called my mom a French stinkler or anything. Then we'd have some fighting going on, I think. But you didn't say that, so it's alright. Got home from a closing at McDick's. Good to be home. Hell yeah. Hope it was a good day. I want to beat this, and then I think, uh... I'm gonna have to start thinking about getting some food for myself. Your mom jokes never phased me, and I think it because I, it's because I wasn't breastfed. No, I think that's probably because someone says it's your mom joke, and you think about your favorite Donjinshi SRB number 755, where the protagonist's mother turns into a cow and milks him for 15 hours straight, and you get a boner. I don't think it has anything to do with being breastfed. At least not in the traditional sense. Shout out to my boy Craddock. You should look at his stream. Yeah, he'll be back one day, just like Jesus Christ. Finish Jesus. My favorite streamer. Stop projecting? No. That's not what's happening at all. That's literally what Cool109 says. He's always thinking about sex shit. Always. It's hard... I know you probably empathize with Cool. You're probably the same way, way where you can't think about anything else other than, like, carnal pleasure. I'm sorry that that is your, your situation. But you can get better. Okay, okay. No, no! Please, please, God. Please, God. Oh. Red coins? Good grief. Why? Why why red coins? Why why red coins? Oh no. Okay, okay. I mean I knew that. There's the one back here, which is also considering everything a particular sinister. Particularly sinister place to put it. But god, I, I... 
I didn't even notice any going through. Okay. So let's just... Oh. Alright. Holy shit, fucking what? Let's just try getting through. Let's just try getting through. Get the red coin, but don't don't sweat this shit for now. I think really the only part where you need this shell is this little lava corridor. You should be able to, like in theory, get through the rest of this without too much issue. I think. Oh yeah, there's like a metal. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. We can just go ahead and, and move on with our lives. You don't have to do the entire- Oh, what the fuck is this? This is a big area. You try getting the star a few times. Is this a mod? Yes. It's B3313. One of the most fucking confusing mods ever made for a video game. I would say it's safe to say that at this point. Bro, is Shimmy? He's working that pole. He's working it. There's one up here. There's one over there. Okay, okay, okay. So, can I go in here? This is a cool level, and it feels like... It isn't that the other levels don't have a lot of effort put in, or detail. But this one seems to have, like, an extra amount. Oh god, we gotta watch out for that green shit. Shrek juice. Oh! Holy fuck. No! Couldn't tell that this is a mod. I mean, it's hard to tell at first because it's meant to be... There are some areas like this that don't really have an equivalent in the actual games. But a lot of the areas... Oh, fuck. A lot of the areas really are... Pretty similar to ones that would be in the game. But there's like subtle variations. Okay, so the Mountain Dew is... Absolutely fatal. We do not want to go into the Mountain Dew tar pit. Need to take a moment to uh, get my camera to be a little bit better. I thought I had the, the space to make that, but clearly I did not, so my bad. It's like Mountain Dew. It's the whole shtick of this mod. It's, um, it's hard to summarize, but basically it's meant to be this nightmare confusing hellscape labyrinth with like 17 different versions of every room. The map for an old version, which has like less than half the content this completed version has, is like enough to give someone an aneurysm. It's meant to be very deliberately confusing and trying to get to the end is basically a chaotic endeavor. It's, uh, <laughs> it's especially without writing down the path. So whenever I die, I go the same route every time because any small... Like, there are things like doors that will lead you into a room, but if you try to go back, it leads you to an, a different place entirely. So a big part of it is figuring out which doors consistently lead to, like, an actual place. Uh, there's, like... As I said, there's, like, the castle lobby in Mario, except there's, like, 15 different versions of the castle lobby in this. Oh. Then there's random shit like this. I have gone through here approximately a billion times, I would say. And I've never seen it, like, turn this color. I'm not sure if that means... That's another thing, too. There are a lot of changes like that that don't seem... It's hard to tell if it's actually anything of consequence. No idea what the fuck I'm looking- and it's worse. Like I said, that's like half the size of the full version, I would say. 
Or at least it feels like it. So it's got like, um... Some LSD emulator going on here where it's like the colors and the textures change sometimes. Path of Exile skill tree for the first time. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Except it's a different room. And the flowchart makes it look more simple than it is. Because it's not easy to tell where any given path is going to take you. Like where the fuck you're going to end up. Like it's a lot more sensical. If you write it all down, you plot it all out. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Paths normally switch up. I think there are some doors that can like take you to one of a few places. They don't always lead the same way. The biggest example I can think of is like once you first walk into the castle, the top door in the middle seems to take you to one of three places, more or less. But there are, like I said, a big part of it is figuring out where all of the concrete like paths are. Where there's no variance whatsoever and where you end up. Maybe there's not as much variance as I think. A lot of it is just like, it doesn't fucking make sense. Like, it just doesn't. Until you run it through, you run it back like several, several dozen times. Fucking run back, it sure is. Okay, so. Oh, God, dude. What the fuck? Dude, come on. What is this shit, man? Oh, this seems really fucking familiar, doesn't it? Ooh, that was almost heartbreaking, dude! That was almost a tragedy! Okay, thank God getting a star here just puts you out of the portrait, because sometimes when you get a star on these levels, it just shits you back to, like, the beginning, more or less. That would have really sucked with how, how hard it is to get to this particular part. That would have taken... It takes a long time to get back, so... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I almost beefed it there. Alright, I'm feeling my... Oh. I was feeling myself for the briefest of moments. Epic clutch? I don't know about that. Oh god. Ah. Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What is this place? Does every one of those little paths has have a fucking star? It's starting to seem that way, huh? Sandwich factory for real. Shit, don't get don't don't become stinky jelly. So deal with the fat pinchy bomb dudes? I don't know, they're lonely. Not my problem. You know, they need a trauma dump somewhere else. Okay, so what's going on here? That seems pretty easy, right?
Okay, I almost ate shit at the end, but I think even if I fell in the lava, I would have been okay. Damn, we found the star vault. This place just shits out these fucking stars. And recon, I, I'm not sure how many there's supposed to be. Around 400? Uh oh. God damn it. I'm trolling. I'm trolling so hard right now. Just hold the left, hold the left. That's all you gotta do. Easy breezy, beautiful Tolo girl. I thank you, Aradia, for the 35 months. I appreciate it. Just hold left. Just hold left. Just pretend you're at Arathi Basin again. You're 13. You're just you're just fucking defending the flag. You're just holding position. Everything's chilling. No strife, no acrimony. Alright, so what the fuck is this? Oh, this looks lovely. No! Oh, damn it! Damn it, damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. That one's a little fucked. That one's a little fucked. Lava and spikes. Alright, last life, bros. I'm gonna try that one again. I gotta get the salty run back if I make it there. Fucking epic Roblox noises. Oh. Woo! I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, we need to relax. Spikes in the lava wall. So I think if I were to hit the spikes, I would probably just die. The lava, you get a chance to bounce back. So let me look at the rest of... Oh, God. Easy. Can you farm lives at any point? You can get more lives with coins, but... It takes forever. I think it, you're intended to not have too many lives, so you can't hold your position in the in the castle, and you there's like the extra pressure of, oh shit, if I die here, I have no fucking idea how I'm ever going to make it back. There's like ten levels I can think of where it's like, <laughs> I got there once, and I have I saw some weird shit and just have no fucking idea how to get there or if I'll ever get there again. Like, I remember one level that had green stars, which I have no fucking idea what was going on with that. I haven't seen them since. I think that was literally, like, the first day I played this. Okay, this doesn't seem like there's gonna be a star. It's just a red coin. But... Why is there a singular fucking coin here? Oh, no. All right. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, bros. Shit! I think, uh... I think it's a critical mission failure. Was that the only instance of a silver coin? No, there's been silver and copper. There's been, like, some weird coins. Shit pit moment, it would seem so. 
All right. You know what we got to do, right? Holy fuck. Okay, what the fuck? There's no point to this being a trap if it's not going to kill you. What if we run a straight line? Like, as straight as I can. Just push any thoughts of Joelle out of my mind. Don't let the, the gay little fairy on my shoulder. That sounded terrible. I didn't mean like like fairy isn't there. I meant like my Tinkerbell, but but gay, you know. Oh. Oh, I guess I neglected to mention there are like creepy posture horror elements in this mod as well. Poor Luigi, man. Look at him. God, I wish that were me. No, you don't. When you encounter these these uh, horror things and they grab you, it literally like crashes the fucking uh, emulation. All right, so we found out what Luigi's been doing all of this time. It seems like a decent place to end it. I'm getting pretty fucking hungry, so works for me. Uh, hope you liked the stream. Thanks for watching. I am going to go get some, some sustenance. I have not eaten today, and so I am pretty hungry. You know, I've lost too much weight. I'm 174 pounds, so I got to put it all back on. That's the fun of losing weight, right? So you can just, you can get it all back. Fuck yeah, baby. The beef, the cheese, the pickles, the 